Hello and welcome to week three of AC 1110 Accounting Fundamentals. Remember that the contact information is down here with the name, the email address, uh, and the phone number. We also have office hours at Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. You're not required to go to the office hours, but if you have questions, that's a good place to go. That time is carved out in order to answer questions. It is in a question answer format, not really a lecture format. So if you join the discussion, uh, be prepared to ask some questions in there. Uh, that is at a different location in terms of phone number. So it is a conference call line. So when you call in here, call the different phone number, call this phone number. If you have any questions outside of that time, then call the normal phone number and or the email. The email is actually probably the best way to contact me. I try to keep on track of that as much as possible. Uh, we can also use this screen share software within this office hours time as well as other times. I highly recommend using software such as this or both the school in terms of of talking to students as well as just the business side uses this software a lot a lot of businesses are starting to use it it's really helpful to do uh, it shares the screen so if you wanted to work problems together with someone else you can see what they're doing visually and that's really helpful uh, in order to do that you might want to go to participants over here where you get a list of participants send them a Moodle message and and switch contact information and then you can use software such as uh, Skype has a screen share capability and this join.me has screen share capability. It should be free. So those are some options that are available if we wanted to do, if anybody wanted to do some study groups or anything like that. Also remember that many of the problems do have recordings to help with the problem. So the video to help work through the problem, uh, those are housed on this website. So if you're having any problems with the links or anything like that, you could go directly to this website. Keep that in mind. It's going to be under Charter College, under Accounting Fundamentals. That page might be a little bit slow to load up. And if you're going to somewhere such as using a phone or a tablet or something like that, and you're having any problems with that, you might want to just go to the YouTube channel, which actually seems to load up faster. So the YouTube channel is here. If you went to the, that channel and you scroll down to under Charter College, you can see this is the YouTube channel we're looking at. These are some other classes if you wanted to kind of look at some other classes as well going forward. But you should be able to find most of the videos, all of them, I believe, within this YouTube channel, you just go into here and then you could scroll down uh, in this format and find the videos that you're looking at at this side. I'm gonna go back to Moodle Rooms. So now let's scroll down to the current week. We are in week three. So we are here in week three. Remember that the format will look much the same as it has in prior weeks. It'll look much the same in future classes where we will have the objective, we'll have the topics. We will then have the lesson. In this uh, week, we will be covering chapters three and chapter four. We started chapter three last time and we're going to continue on chapter three this time. We're going to mainly focus on chapter three this time and then we'll move on to chapter four. Start chapter four. We will continue on chapter four next time. Chapter three is going to be the adjusting process that can be a little bit more difficult for individuals because it does go through some accrual concepts. So spend some time with that. Then we have the uh, lecture videos here. So you can click on here and watch some of the videos. Most of those should also be housed on the website and the YouTube channel. So you should be able to find those there as well. There will be some repetition with these videos. That is by design. I highly recommend repeating some of the stuff, especially the uh, building blocks video and going through there again and trying to see it in different ways. Nobody really gets that all these concepts down when you first look through it. You should be able to go through there and pick up new stuff basically every time you look at that and be able to uh, organize things a little bit differently or different orders. So then remember that everything from the discussions down, this is where you want to check everything off within Moodle Rooms. So remember, even though you're doing the work within Connect, a lot of it, we're going to check everything off in Moodle Rooms because not all the work is represented in Connect. However, all the work is shown here. So you want to go through here and check them off. What do we got to do? The discussion forms, once you've done those, you want to check it off. The assignments, one's going to be in Connect, one's going to be in Moodle Rooms. I would check them off here once you have done them. Then the homeworks, they're both going to be in Connect. However, I would check them off here once you have completed them. The quiz down here, it's going to be the midterm. Once you've completed that, I would check that one off. Make sure you get that completed by Sunday. You can't generally make up the quiz for late work. And remember that I would approach all of these classes, all, all Charter College classes, with this format that being i would try to pick full credit up on the discussion forms you have the most control of the discussion forms you want to make sure to pick up full credit that's 21 percent of the grade then i try to pick up as much as possible the assignments and the homework they're worth 33 and 13. there is a lot of work in this class i understand that 
but you have the most control over those as well. And if there's a lot of resources, so you shouldn't get really zeros on any of the assignments given the resources, pick up as many of the points as you can. Then when you go into the quizzes, midterm and final, all of those put together are worth 33% of the grade. So if you pick up 21% of the discussion and as much of the homework and assignments as possible, you will be going into the quizzes with a pretty substantial point total cushion and could still come up with a pretty good grade even if you do not do as well as you hope on those. So in order to do that, let's go back to Moodle Rooms over here. The discussion forums. The discussion forums here, if we distill this down to its essence, we're basically going to say we need at least four posts on the discussion forum. Most students will need more than four posts, however. Why? Because the discussion forums accumulate upwards. So we every uh, post can accumulate points. No post really brings the point total down, unlike other assignments where basically we just grade whatever was turned in. There, that means that four really good posts would give full credit. Four not so great posts might not get to full credit. We want to make sure that we keep on posting more to accumulate the goal of full credit. Remember what a post should be. It should be adding content. So a post should be adding more content uh, related to accounting. You can answer a question. You can add more questions. You can discuss uh, different topics. You can uh, search things like uh, Google search and things like that. However, when you post things, you want to make sure to post the URL that you got it from. Also want to make sure that you paraphrase it. Uh, if you post a URL, it's not plagiarism, and that's good. If you want to have a good post in that format, you want to put a recap of what you've posted in your own words. So I'm obviously going to uh, add a lot of information. Don't be intimidated by the new questions that I put in there. I only put those in there so that we can facilitate discussion, obviously. Also, want to make sure that there's enough information for everybody to get full credit on the discussion forums. The assignment, one will be in Connect, one will be in Moodle Rooms. The one in Connect is up here. Remember, this is Moodle Rooms, this is Connect, and the assignment is going to be this longer one. Now, you might want to actually do the Learn Smarts first before the assignment, but here's the assignment. That's going to be the longer problem. Remember to use the paperclip here. If you open the paperclip, you will have an Excel sheet, and the Excel sheet does not need to be turned in. However, it'll be helpful to work this problem. So you want to open this, you want to open the Excel sheet, then open this, and then open the problem and work them together. So the Excel sheet will look like this. You'll have three tabs, one with videos, one with uh, an example problem, one with a worksheet. So you can work it in Excel if you choose. However, you do not have to because you're, you're just using this in order to help you turn it in to connect. Within this sheet, you'll notice that all of the formats of the journal entries will be much the same. So even if you went in here and you just kind of picked up the format of the journal entries, you should be able to pick up a lot of points, meaning the first journal entry will be a debit to advertising expense, most likely, and a credit to cash. However, the uh, numbers will change. So you should be able to pick up a lot of points just taking a look at that. And also note that we, in this worksheet, are posting this in a more of a shorthand version. So if there's a general ledger, you might want to look at the last week's um, video for week one uh, assignment two if you want to refresh yourself on how to post to the general ledger because this is basically a shorthand of that. So I'm going to go back to connect over here. So that'll be this problem. I'm going to go back to Moodle Rooms, and then we have the Moodle Rooms problem. You want to go into Moodle Rooms on this one. This one will be turned into Moodle Rooms rather than Connect. If you open this up, you'll see another Excel sheet. This will be a much shorter Excel sheet, <laughs> and it'll have videos up in the upper left. And you want to work this one. Once you're done with that, there'll be a thing here that will be a button, a blue button thing. And you want to click on that and submit it here within to Moodle Room rather than to Connect. If you had not submitted the Moodle Rooms problems to Moodle Rooms in prior weeks, but, ac but accidentally su submitted them to Connect, that's okay. Go back in there, download them, upload them to Moodle Rooms. I will then grade them again the next time the grading comes around. Going to go back up to the cookie trail up here. Going to scroll down to the current week we are in. And we are now looking at the homeworks. These are in Connect. So you want to do them in Connect. However, you just want to check them off here. Uh, these two will look like the Learn Smarts. We're going to go up to Connect up here. Here's the Learn Smarts. Remember that there's only about 25 questions here. So once you do 25 questions, uh, that should be it. It'll be completed. Then when you go out of it and go back into it, you could do more questions. And so if it says something like there's 90 questions in it or something more than 25, then that means that you've probably completed it and then you went back in there and you're just in practice mode. 
These are good practice, however, for uh, the midterm. So you could work more of them and use that practice for the midterm because obviously the midterm is in, in uh, multiple choice question format. All right, so I'm going to go back here. We're going to take a look at the last thing. Last thing is the midterm. So the quiz is the midterm. You want to make sure to uh, do that. Make sure you get it in by Sunday. Do not get a zero on the midterm. Anything is better than a zero. It's a multiple choice question, so picks up points on that. If we take a look at it, of course, the midterm will be down here. I would have anything open that you can. Have the book open if you can. If you print out pieces of the book if you can. Uh, have a trial balance open. I, I would definitely have the prior worksheet problems open. I, I like to have the Excel sheet open with prior problems that have been worked. I like to have an Excel sheet just to put in debits and credits into the Excel sheet. Uh, I recommend having all those things open. Also remember that uh, the midterm is going to be worth more of this 33%. So as of now, you have two quizzes making up this 33% total of your grade. The midterm will substantially change that because it's worth more than the quizzes of this portion of the 33 percent all right going back to here not there going back to here going back to moodle rooms i'm going to scroll up to the grade book so a grade book up top it's on the left hand side green icon grade book we're going to go into here now remember the idea of the grade book is that we will then transfer the grades from here from connect into moodle rooms basically once a week is when they'll be totally completed so the week of for example week two ends on uh, Sunday and I have until Tuesday to populate so as of Tuesday following week two you want to go in here and double check that the grades have been populated the way you know they should be because you've been tracking it within Moodle rooms and you know exactly what's been turned in so then by Tuesday you want to go in here and just double check that the grades reflect what you already know that they should reflect meaning that the discussion form for week two will then be populated to full credit because of course everybody's going to pick up full credit on those the assignment here uh, the quiz will then be populated to whatever you received on the quiz and then we have the assignments and the homework and they will be populated for week two by Tuesday in accordance to what was received on those if anything is not at full credit at that time if you still have some zeros or some uncompleted work these dashes will then turn to zeros and you then want to see if you can pick up any late work on those. Uh, they should still be open. So you want to go back in there and pick up that work as you go. Once you do that, I will then update the grade again the following week. So the following week after week three, I'll populate the grade book for week three. And I'll pick any late work up for prior weeks at that time. So that's it for week three. Have a great week three.